I'm Dee Middleton, Managing Director of Lamarty Enterprises, and thank you for uh, coming into my home so that I can talk to you a little bit about uh, Lamarty Enterprises and the uh, board game accessory of the 90s. Uh, many people have asked me how I came up with the idea for Lamarty Trays, which is our anchor product at Lamarty Enterprises. As a child of eight years old, I lived in a little town of Chamoy, Missouri, in a little Midwestern town. And uh, that town was filled mostly with boys my age. So I uh, acquired my first Monopoly game when I was eight. And uh, these boys uh, were quite a handful. And I had to protect my money from being stolen. And I came up with the idea of using a Tom Thumb cash register to house my money while I was playing these board games. Later on, when I became an adult, this whole notion stuck in my mind of the need for a board game accessory. And at that time, I uh, used uh, monies that I had saved and uh, actually went into the R&D process. And in 1987, I filed a US patent for utility and design on the Lamarty trays. I later uh, filed patents in Great Britain and Canada. Very soon after that, uh, I formed Lamarty Enterprises. And uh, currently, it is a solely women-owned uh, proprietorship uh, that was formed January 1, 1988. Our mission was to find a niche in the board game industry. And in finding that niche, uh, we wanted to also bring children and seniors together. We also wanted to bring the disabled or the physically, partially physically impaired children into the board game playing arena. So I think we accomplished this very nicely with the Lamarty trays. Our goals were, number one, to circulate Lamarty trays into every US household. And number two, to broaden the scope of that circulation into a worldwide uh, circulation. Uh, finally, we, um, in developing our, our new games, uh, Let's Fix It and Let's Get Cooking, we wanted to eliminate the stigma that boys should traditionally play boys types of games and girls should traditionally play girl types of games. So now boys can cook and girls can fix things. So we thought that that would uh, uh, bring the, or put an end to that kind of stigma. Um, <clears throat> in 1991 uh, and 1992, we were very uh, pleased to have been awarded uh, the best board game accessory for those two years, 1991 and 92, by Fun and Games magazine. Since December of 1990, Lamarty trays have received considerable publicity in Fun and Games magazine. And in 1991, we received their prestigious Manufacturer of the Year Award. Lamarty trays have been used in a number of environments, by kids and seniors, indoors or outdoors, and with a wide variety of games, with classics like Monopoly and Life, and with award-winning games like the Million Dollar Bank Game. Lamarty trays have received wide recognition in newspapers across two continents. We anticipate the same widespread interest in our Let's Fix It and Let's Get Cooking games. We expect to see our trays and games in every senior residence, adult daycare center, and child care center across the country. We anticipate that hospitals and rehabilitation centers nationwide will use Lamarty trays and games as educational and therapeutic tools for the partially impaired. Our theme for 1991 was, with the Monopoly game by permission of Parker Brothers, an American tradition played in an exciting new way. Our theme for 1992, tonight serve up your favorite family board game on Lamarty trays. We hope that you will join us in our efforts to change the way the world plays board games. What is the future of Lamarty Enterprises? Well, we do plan to make more board game accessories, and we hope to make additional board games that work well for kids, seniors, and the partially impaired. Why don't I now take you into our game testing lab and demonstrate our Lamarty product line.
Hi, I'm Dee Middleton, and I'm the Managing Director of Lamarty Enterprises. We're in our game testing room right now, and I have in front of me the award-winning Lamarty trays. See, we, the trays come in a very colorful box and a very compact box. They're identified as the money, card, and game board holders so that consumers know exactly what they're purchasing. They also come with a very colorful picture on the front depicting the trays with a popular board game. On the flip side of the box, we also have color graphics, and on the left side, we identify the contents of the game, uh, the use of the trays as a game board holder, and also as a learning tool. In the center of the box, we have five pictures depicting the trays indoors, outdoors, the versatility of the games with many, the trays with many games, and the educational value of the trays. On the far right hand side, we have uh, line graphics showing the consumer exactly how the trays are assembled. Let me show you how easy it is to assemble Lamarty trays. Just open the box and remove the trays. There are four trays to a box, and there are four corner pieces to a box. And I'll put the trays in the assembly position. And the corner pieces come flat, and what you do is you just bend the corner piece so that you can begin to assemble the trays. And we'll assemble the rest of the corner pieces. And we'll start with this corner, and you can see just how easy it is to clamp the tray ends to the corner pieces to form the square elevated platform that the trays, that the game will rest on. Uh, this is uh, the assembly for the square board game. Of course, we can do a standalone assembly of the trays for rectangular game boards, and I will show you how to do that. And here we are with the trays assembled to place a game board atop. Here is the Monopoly game board, and I can show you just how easy it is to place it atop the assembled trays, and thus making a pyramidical platform to hold the game. And what you would do is put your, your play money here and your real estate cards in the slots provided. Now, a shortcut on how to use the trays with a rectangular game board would be to turn a square game board over like this, and this would give you a platform within which to place a rectangular game board atop the assembly. I'll use the award-winning million dollar bank game to demonstrate the Lamarty trays in the shortcut square position. As you can see, I'm placing the oblong million dollar bank game board atop the square Monopoly board that I've previously placed upside down on the tray assembly. Now let me show you how the Million Dollar Bank game is complemented by the Lamarty trays by placing the board on top of the box and butting the trays in standalone position against each side of the game board. First, I'm removing the two game boards from the tray assembly. Next, I will disassemble the Lamarty trays. Now, I will place the million dollar bank game bo box atop the table. And I'll place the board game atop the box. And then I will assemble the trays in standalone position by taking the corner piece and flattening it and placing it in the slot provided at the back of each tray, like this. And I'll go around each 
side of the board and assemble the trays in standalone position until I have completed all four sides of the game assembly. And for effect, I'll add some cards and money to the trays. And the playing pieces. And I'll give you a marker and me a marker and we'll throw the dice and we're all set to play the award-winning million dollar bank game in an exciting new way. As you can see by the demonstration, Lamarty trays work well for kids, seniors, and the partially disabled. Each time you use Lamarty trays, it becomes easier and easier to set them up, and the enhanced play value makes the process well worth it. We found a niche in the board game industry and filled it with a quality product of high-tech design. We encourage retailers and consumers to see, touch, and try Lamarty trays. That's why every retailer receives one free box of Lamarty trays with their initial order of 12 boxes. Won't you help us in our efforts to change the way the world plays board games? Our theme for 1992? Tonight, serve up your favorite family board game on Lamarty trays. Mm -hmm.